Welcome to Elector Online. Here's one of those problems from the JEE main exams where you can actually solve it just in a few seconds or you can actually work through the problem. Of course, if you can just look at it and you understand some of the principles of decibel gain or decibel loss, you can then see how you can do this problem very quickly. So let's take a look at both ways of solving the problem and then you can choose for yourself which way you'd like to go. But let's read it together. It says a signal of 0.1 kilowatts is transmitted in a cable. The attenuation of the cable is minus 5 dB per kilometer and the cable length is 20 kilometer. The power received at the receiver is 10 to the minus x watts. The value of x is, so we're looking for the exponent right here. And notice they do give us the equation. I'm actually surprised they gave you the equation because I suppose that they would expect you to know that equation, have memorized it. So here, if you didn't memorize the equation, you end up being lucky. So first of all, let's understand what we mean with the problem itself. We have a cable. The cable has a length equal to 20 kilometers. And for every one kilometer, we have an attenuation of minus 5 dB. So if we multiply this by 20 kilometers, so if we have minus 5 dB per kilometer and we multiply times 20 kilometers, notice the kilometers cancel out and we end up with a minus 100 dB attenuation. Then also realize that the power, so here we have power out divided by power in. So power in to the cable is equal to 100 watts. Power out is equal to question mark and that's what it's all about. The answer has to be put into that format and we're finding the exponent. Now the way you can solve this problem quickly is to realize that with decibels we know that, let me give you a little table here, we have decibels and then we have the ratio of power out over power in. Let's make that out, there we go. And so if we have a gain of 10 decibels that means the power out over the power in is 10 to 1. If we have 20 decibels, then the power out to power in is 100 to 1. If we have 30 decibels, it's 1,000 to 1. And 40 decibels is 10,000 to 1. Of course, that would be 10 to the first, 10 to the second, 10 to the third, 10 to the fourth. And so if we go all the way out to uh, 100 times or 100 decibels of a gain, that means this is 10 to the tenth. Now in reverse, if we go negative, and maybe I'll use a different color for that, but uh, let's see here, let me try blue, see if my blue pens work. So if it's a minus 10, then here we have 1 over 10 to the first power, or that would be equal to 10 to the minus 1. If we have minus 20 dB, then this becomes 10 to the minus 2, and if we have minus 100 dB, we get 10 to the minus 10. So that means that the output would be 10 to the minus 10 as big as the input if we have an attenuation of 100 dB. So once you see that, then you realize that if P in is 100 watt, then P out would be 100 watt times 10 to the minus 10, which would be equal to 1 uh, times 10 to the minus 8 watts. And so therefore we have the exponent of minus 8, we're looking for the value of x minus x, so therefore x in this case would be equal to 8. And that's how you would think about it. You quickly realize that for 100 dB attenuation, you have a power drop of 10 to the minus 10. And from that, we can then quickly realize that the exponent we're looking for is the exponent 8. However, we can also take this for example. So if we take that equation, we have dB equals 10 times the log base 10. You don't really have to write base 10. We understand that when we see the word log of power out over power in. And then we're looking here, we realize we're looking for a 100 dB attenuation. So minus 100 dB is equal to 10 times the log of P out over P in. And then we divide both sides by 10, so we have minus 10 is equal to the log of P out over P in. And then we take the antilog of both sides. So 10 to the minus 10 is equal to 10 to the log 
of p out over pn. And of course, 10 raised to the log, that negates, which means that we end up with on the left side, 10 to the minus 10 is equal to, and those two negates, so we end up with, that's equal to um, just 10. Wait a minute, wait, what's going on here? Uh, yeah, 10. So that negates and I get the ratio, p out over pn. I got lost there for a moment. And so now what we're doing here is we realize that the ratio of p out to pn is 10 to the minus 10. That's what we got here. Or we can simply say that p out is equal to pn times 10 to the minus 10. And pn was 100 watts. Multiply that times 10 to the minus 10, which means that this is 1 times 10 to the minus 8 watts p out. And so you can see that we got the same answer, and therefore x equals 8. We're looking for the exponent, and we end up with the same answer. So you can either just simply work it out like this. You can probably do that in a couple of minutes if you do it quickly, or realize I don't have to do it like this. I can simply look at when the dB goes up, when the decibel scale goes up from 10 to 100. That simply means that we have uh, an increase of 10 to the first, 10 to the second, 10 to the third, 10 to the fourth. Or if it goes down, then it becomes 10 to the minus 1, 10 to the minus 2, all the way down to 10 minus 10 for an attenuation of 100 dB. And that is how it's done. Okay.